I've been making videos for a little over four years now, and it definitely is not the easiest thing in the world. There are jobs out there that are much, much harder. Don't get me wrong, and I'm not complaining. With every passing day that I make a video, there is one video maker that I gain respect for every time. And that's our protagonist, Mr. Charles White, aka Penguin Zoe, aka Moist Critical, aka Big Moist, aka the OG YouTube commentator. First off, I'm a huge huge fan of this guy. I've been watching his videos for about two years now. His commentary, in my opinion, is the best on YouTube. There are so many commentary channels out there. None of them can do it quite like he does. That's actually the reason I have so much respect for this guy, because he's a friggin' dinosaur is what he is. His long hair is the equivalent of dinosaur fossils. With every passing year, it just gets longer and longer. 20 years later, It'll be down to his feet. Just to give you some context, I'm 28 years old now, and I've said that I plan to make videos until I'm 40. So that'll be in 12 years is when I'll turn 40. And I started making videos when I was 24. So that means when I'm 40, I'll have 16 years of video making experience, which is exactly how many years of video making experience Penguin Zoe has today. He's 29, he's a year older than me, and he's been making videos since 2007, since he was 13, which is absolutely bonkers. To think that, just imagine the level of experience he must have. That's probably why his commentary is as good as it is, it's because he's been doing it for so long. I grew most of my following on YouTube from short videos. There was a time I used to post six a day, and then I would do four a day, and then I lowered it to two to three, and that's where I'm at now. Even with that, up until a few months ago, I would very regularly burn out from doing that. It just, it is what it is. I would make videos, and the next thing you know, I can't think of what to say. My brain is like, you need a break. Just stop making videos, you stupid idiot. Stop, rest. Stop! I would push through and my videos would get worse and worse. This doesn't happen with Mr. White. This guy is posting at least one video every day still. Usually he's posting two. And one of them is from his streams and the other one is the commentary videos that he's so famous for. That's another thing. This guy is streaming three to four hours every single day. Every day, on the weekends, on the weekdays, he very rarely ever takes a day off. It is remarkable how consistent he is, and his editing is almost non-existent. He doesn't even have much editing in his videos, just simple cuts, and he's off and running. Now that I'm making more long-form commentary videos, I've gotten some comments as to, Oh my god, you're copying Moist Critical! Why are you copying him? How dare you? And the short answer to that is, I am. Because he is the OG commentator, and every other commentary channel that does YouTube videos is unknowingly or knowingly copying him. He's been around the longest, since 07, this is what he's been doing, and he never really stopped posting since then. This guy's a freaking dinosaur. He may be short, but he's a legend. I think the reason so many commentary creators try to be like him is also because of his amazing metaphors. The way he can just make anything sound interesting or he can have legendary callbacks. Other day I was watching one of his episodes and all of a sudden he goes, Man, if I was this guy, I would be as lonely as Squidward was as that one episode in Spongebob where they went ahead in time. And immediately I was like, oh my god, that's a very old episode of Spongebob. The one where everything is chrome, welcome to the future kind of thing. And I'm like, he remembers that. That's from like mid-2000s. And I'm like, oh my god, that's an amazing callback. And I challenge anyone else to find another YouTuber that's as relaxed as Charlie is whenever he's making his videos. He is just so comfortable in front of the camera. I haven't seen any other creator at this level of comfort and relaxation when they make their videos. And I think, again, it comes down to his experience and his longevity for how long he's been doing it. You know, people like Mr. Beast, Casey Neistat, those guys are all people who, when I think of people who are very comfortable in front of the camera, I think of them. But I think Penguin Zoe has to be the most relaxed person on camera ever. He very rarely loses his cool, and when he does, he usually includes the cuts of him stuttering or where he can't talk in the video. 
So it just feels much more authentic than anything else. And his consistency is second to none. I don't know any other creator that's as consistent with his videos as he is. And every single video he posts gets millions of views. He's got... You know, he's posting nine days ago, again, 10 days ago, two videos, 11 days ago, two videos, 12 days ago, one video, 13 days ago, two videos, just bang. He is just pumping content out there like it's child's play and it's incredible, man. I am honestly amazed at this level and that's what I want to get to as well. But it doesn't just happen. He built it. I'm sure he had his phase of burnout in the past, but hey, he's been doing it for 16 years now. And to him, it's like a part of him now to do what he does. One more thing to add on to this is his community. I know there is not an official name for the people who watch Penguin Zoe's videos, but he's got one of the absolute best communities on YouTube by a mile. Any video he posts regularly gets thousands of comments. The one he posted today, an hour ago, Almost at 1,500 comments already and 230,000 views. They will support him no matter what. He's got one of the most positive communities on YouTube and across all of the internet. I think it's because of his authenticity and how he doesn't ever try to be fake. And he's showing up every day for the people who want to watch him. He's always there. He's not making excuses. Like earlier today... I was going to make a different video, a different long form video. At about 2 p.m., my body just shut down and I'm like, I got to go take a nap. And when I woke up, it was 5. Now it's 5.30. And the first thing in my mind was, man, you rarely ever see Penguin Zoe do something like that. He just shows up and makes his videos regardless. Physical hard work isn't always what's rewarded the most. Usually consistency and persistency can supersede that. And... That's what's happening with our protagonist, Charlie White, over here. This guy is more consistent than... I'm trying to think of a metaphor Penguin Zoe would use, but I can't. See? Again, it just comes to him so naturally. He makes it look so easy, man. I've made over 2,500 videos myself, mostly shorts, but I'm still having trouble coming up with these callbacks like he does. He makes it look so easy, man. It's crazy. Uh, hey, experience trumps all, especially when it comes to YouTube. So we're going to go with as consistent as, I still can't come up with one. I still can't do it. Maybe if I keep talking about Charlie White for a bit longer, maybe then the metaphor will come into place. So I know when he first started streaming on YouTube, the first day he moved away from Twitch, he made like $4,000 in donations alone in his first YouTube live, which is insane, man. The most I've ever made in one stream from donations, I believe was around like $600. Usually it's not that high, but this guy, four grand, everyone was just sending hundreds of dollars left and right. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I was thinking of making a donation myself, you know, to maybe get him to notice me because I kind of have a similar taste and content as he does. But I'm like, man, everyone's sending so much money already and... He's just doing his thing because he's been around for so long and he's just saying thanks for the generosity, guys. He doesn't have the time to read through every single comment anymore just because of how amazing his community is. And that's absolutely legendary. People rarely ever hate on this guy. Every other creator and streamer tries to be like him. They want what he has and he's done a phenomenal job of building it. Maybe the metaphor should be as consistent as Charlie White. Like whenever someone says, oh... You want to lose weight? You got to be consistent. You got to be as consistent as Penguin Zoe is with his uploads. Oh, you want to actually get good grades for your school? Well, then you got to study. You got to study as consistently as Penguin Zoe uploads his videos. That's the metaphor we're going to go with. And that's a great one to end it on. And yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you next time.